let me say this the reason um given or preferred preferred by the dpp for not going forward is that there's no um virtual um complainant um let me remind all that there is no limitation period for rape burglary or, or, or those or offenses sexual offenses so at any point in time um the young lady involved in this matter could come forward a matter of fact when i release her from prison as i said before she is imprisoned in the guise of protective care but once she is released from custody and she's able to meet with her attorneys and so forth all issues will be addressed all issues in relation to our treatment in custody, interrogation late at night, and so forth. I got that the first uh, part of your question. In relation to um, the resignation, as, as the charter is today, resignation is not justice. Resignation is not resolution. And we will continue to stand resolute by the young woman. We will not abandon her. We will ensure that justice is not denied to her. Yes, it may be delayed, but we will continue to press and push for this young woman to be given the treatment that she deserved. Not for a police officer to go and take a statement from her whilst there is a sexual offense unit in the Guyana Police Force. No, not for her to be questioned and interrogated at 12 at night. Not for her to be the information that I'm getting. Not for her to be, um, to be getting bread and, 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 and um, sure water. Not being given proper meal. The way of the inhumane, the inhumane manner, the inhumane treatment that is meted out to this young woman. She should not be given to anyone, any part in the world. Not just a real victim. Very soon, a person will be reaching out to us. We'll be engaging um, various specialists, mental health specialists, to assist this woman. You don't treat. A, 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 a victim of virtual complaint, someone who is claiming that they have been raped in such a manner. You don't re victimize them. You treat her as if she's the one the allegation is being made against. That is unacceptable by the authority. The entire system, the entire government is complacent. You treat her as if she's a prisoner. While she's suffering, Damlal is home, he's partying, he's drinking, he's going all over. He's able, he has freedom. And this young lady, there's never freedom. So I say at this point, the government should release this young woman from custody. Release her. You say that you're not charging? Release her from custody.